the occasion to use aromatherapy again for my poultry, so I thought I'd share this with you. And I'm going to use a essential oil called citri Eucalyptus Citriodora, or Lemon Eucalyptus. It was one that uh, I was very lucky to find out about. I have a friend who's an organic farmer, and for part of her study into alternative medicine, she actually shadowed an organic vet, and it was what he used, so that's a great tip that I got from her. And um, as with all essential oils, we're going to dilute it in a carrier oil. This one is just an organic, very low grade, um, non saleable olive oil, which I get from a friend. And I put about um, five or six drops of Citridora in here. Uh, this is because I'm going to treat the rest of the birds tomorrow. Uh, normally for a single bird, you would never use more than three drops of essential oil and you would dilute that in one teaspoon of carrier oil. Um, I, I've already done an inspection of this bird and I know that um, they are around the vent area. So what you are looking at here are what's called nits and they are actually the eggs of the louse and the female louse uh, in order to keep her eggs secure, cements them to the shaft of the feathers at the base of the feather. And these are, this actually provides the louse when it hatches with its food because what the lice eat are uh, bits of feather, bits of the down, and also uh, the covers that cover these new feathers coming out. And that is why you get lice in the autumn when the birds are putting their new plumage on and they've got lots of debris. And normally, uh, birds will um, groom themselves and get rid of these but in areas like this it is quite difficult for them to get to these areas so that is why they do congregate here. So you need to just get the oil all over these feathers now, sorry, all over these eggs so they won't hatch and also the adults congregate around the eggs too so you'll get them at the same time these are new eggs, you can see that they're very white There's some little ones there as well on these feathers Just be uh, careful not to upset the bird as well because it's a bit of an indignity oh, it's not many Quite a big loop from there. And you can see some adults moving about here at the base of the tail, which is another place they congregate. I'll put some oil on them as well. There they go. So what you're actually doing with the oil is um, these creatures breathe through holes in their sides, and what you're doing is you're asphyxiating them by covering the holes with oil. Now I've looked at some work done at some university poultry departments and they've actually tested these uh, lice and after an hour they actually start breathing again. So this is the point of putting the uh, Citridora essential oil on, it's, um, it's a double effect, it's, it's not just asphyxiation, it gets rid of them. And you can see another thing here which is the problem with lice, is that he's actually developing uh, contact dermatitis and this is what the, the lice do as well and so what I will do after treating with this is tomorrow I shall put some uh, organic uh, virgin coconut oil in this area as well and that will help the skin to heal. So now I'm just going to take a cursory glance over the areas where I think he won't be able to get to for grooming and where they might be congregating if he's got any more. Uh, under the ring is one. We'll look here. And it's a good idea to do this sort of thing at night when uh, birds are very calm and these, these birds are very tame but even so it is quite disturbing to be doing this to them. So at night they're not that bothered because they're quite sleepy. And the other place they get of course is on the top of his head which is difficult for him to eat. Just have a look here. And this is what they're going to be eating. And this is what the delicacy of the louse. Are these um, covers to the new form feathers? This is what they're eating. And in a way a few of these lice 
on him. They're probably doing a good job because they're cleaning up all these feathers, but it's when you get an infestation and when they start to affect the skin, there you are, that's the sort of thing they'd be eating. I'm just checking Stanislas because the last thing I want is for something to hatch out on him and then for him to reinfect the other two who are now clear. And I can just see some tiny few egg cases, so I'm just going to treat them. So I'm treating again with this dropper and it is quite a difficult operation and also it's in a very difficult area. You really have got to be so careful with essential oils around these areas. So if you're in any way worried about doing this, then my suggestion is that you take a cotton bud. Um, again, I use an organic cotton because of the pesticide problem. And just dip that in your mixture and then paint that onto these eggs. That way you won't be in any danger of getting too much on. Because of the life cycle of these lice um, in the few days after the treatment I'm going to look again now to see if anything's hatched out in case I've missed any of the eggs. These are the most uh, likely parts where they've gone. They won't go back to the vent because that's now quite um, covered, it was covered with oil so they won't like that. They'll keep away from that Citriodora. So they'll go to new places but I can't, I'm not seeing anything. I've already had a look at uh, Rufus, he's fine. So this is really good, this has worked quite quickly, which means it was a very, as I thought, it was a very limited attack by these lice. And that's the great thing, it's something that's really quickly, the problem is something that's really quickly dealt with, as long as you do deal with it quickly, it's when you don't, and then you can get in real trouble. If by any chance uh, you're watching this and you've got a, a major infestation in your birds, then you may have to resort to washing them. It's not something I like to do because you're compounding the problem by doing that. Because you're leaving the skin very dry when you wash them. And lice love clean, dry skin. And the other thing is we've had so much rain lately that even the places that normally wouldn't have got wet in the garden are, are soaked. And they just probably haven't had any room to have dust baths as well. So probably a good idea for me to go out and tomorrow and make a provision for a nice dust bath for them all. But she's okay. She's got a clean bill. No more lice.